of the lecture. And now, before we move further, let's look at examples, right? How this machine will work. So I consider the first case, and we go two, right? <laughs> Okay. So this case, we said that you have a K2. Yeah. Here. This guy, so it's an X, this time we assume to be suspension. And uh, what says it, uh, it, this will be a uh, Depends on the two letters x1, x2, right? Okay. So x1 will be first the projection and the inclusion x2 will be second the projection inclusion, right? That's that's all I need. And so and this group it's the quotient group of the B group quotient out by those commutators. I t will be one if I p equal I q some p less than q, right? Some index generally just repeat and will be trivial. And then in this case, it's a very very simple proof. You cannot have a committee that lands three. Which can lands three, somebody must be repeated, is it? Well, it should be. So it's actually this is only have a two uh, two groups actually take two. And just first of all, you take a billion for ZZ, right? Billion ZZ. And the kernel is just uh, one copy generated by the commutator of x one x two. So this will be a simple group. Well, it, it would have something which is material. Let me let me see it. Okay. So this is a this group. Is, it's good, right? And we can work out the H two we want. H two by definition is what equalizer of the. So this is means you start with K two. You take the equalizer K one means Z, right? Okay. So we. D1, you just send X1 to be trivial, D2 send X2, so what's this group? And this H2 is actually only have one map going down. Uh, let's see, to Z, H1, and Z. And the kernel want to be the intersection of these kernels. That's exactly the center of this power. So Z, generative power. This guy is whatever you take D1, D2 will be trivial. And you can actually write down what the words, because general words here, just sum x1, x2 to the power, times x1 to the power, x2 to the power, and use this one to work out. So the elements can work. Okay, so now I try to see how you can actually you can detect some classical res result. Okay, we we'll use this. Again. A good thing for this H2 is that now we get map. H2 is actually can go to J2 X loop suspension X. So G2, J2 is not bad because this is already, uh, already two times connectivity to here. So below three times connectivity range. So we need to catch so it's some, mm -hmm. something you go up to quadratic range. Okay. The group is simple. Okay, so now let's make observations. So I want to look at this commutator. So what does it mean? Commutator. <laughs> Imagine this commutator. Commutator should go to commutator in, in a sense. There should be a correct version, right? So commutator you can write on this uh, by definition. Mm -hmm. Uh, we have a question. H2 is an equalizer of D1 and D2 or what? But equalizer. Yes. HM is defined as uh -huh. equalizer. Yes, okay. Equalizer. Okay. When you take the equalizer, you can map into this space. Okay. Otherwise, you only go to here. This will be less interesting. This is very interesting part. Because 
this is approaching to, to the loop suspension. Okay. So you will really need this one. Now we need to understand what this method, element goes to. Right? This element uh, you can write down how many you need to start with. You use this map to control two, and uh, you get some caution to handle that. So this is a particular map that's still denoted by x1, x2, okay, so that. And right, then you write down by definition, right, x1, x2, so I have a maps like a, a first map that's called f, let me write here, that's called f1, means x go down, project by 1, x then includes to here, and f2 will be like a second projection, x, and then includes to here, right? This is the definition of x1, 2. Now you write as the commutator of this one. Commutator by definition, <coughs> the commutator you have to take this guy, how many times you have to be, so I have to take four fold, right, and take uh, four times, okay, then I want to fill in some maps like uh, F inverse, G inverse, uh, G, right? Okay, so fill in this map. This one. Okay, so this is like that niche. So you take, so you take F1, F2, and, and then they give, give some four fold. And then you multiply them. Right? So that's it. that we need. Okay, but uh, when you take F1 inverse, just means I take F, then followed by inverse. But uh, you have this projection. So I see this is an exercise, you can see that this is exactly defined. First of all, you go down to smash product, smash product, and then you take the semis product. So let's see what E. Okay, so let me take this map, this one S2. What does it to write it? means x1, a, y1, smash this y2, goes to commutator like one, 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 two. Think about this guy as a group. Okay. Okay. Map your part. So we just write down. So now this is, because this map path pass through the smash product, it will pass through the yeah, map j2. Here, this map, and this is exactly the x1, x2. Means. This is a map. So x1, x2 is, is really like a semi product. And the same situation, if you take uh, eight liter commutators, it's just eight liter white right? exactly. Okay, so now I see I'm trying to see some application, right? So I try to see some basic property. Okay, so let me just want to talk. Yeah. So there's a basic observation. We have the following. So x one x x2 x1 is equal to what equal to x1 x2 inverse right <laughs> this is just a, you switch switching now well this is okay this is just in group theory this is a switching now what does it mean it might as a map right as a map so the map it means that you pick x, smash with x, switch water means I put a tau. Tau will be like y1 smash with y2 goes to y2 smash y1. Right? And then I take x smash x followed by 
semicircular. And uh, because this guy, both the, both guys, they just switch, both come from the even K2 group, so it tells you information, it comes from the image. So this will be equal to go another way, I put degree minus one. They are the same. Right? They are the same, just because deg degree minus one <laughs> means the right, this is a axis suspension of the degree minus one and four. Okay, so this translates this length. Okay, so now now what that means? Well, let's see. Okay, so now I erase this one. So if I put this on map. X one minus tau, right? These are suspensions. I can, I can make uh, make uh, more add them together. Two map I can make add. Okay, minus. Okay, let's we one minus tau. Tau is degree minus one. This minus one. So it's actually this map. That's two. Uh, and this is the wait. This should be go by degree. Multiple by two, right? Okay, so two, right? So this diagram is, is clear, right? Okay. okay, so now what does it mean? Now, now let's take special space. So I put x to be just as I. Okay, this is for any space. Now let's look at the sphere. <coughs> so when we put the sphere <coughs> as n. Smash as M, I put a switch position because the self maps between spheres is controlled by degree. And the switch position was that. This is exactly degree minus one to the N, right? Okay, exactly degree minus one to the N. Okay, so now I put this <laughs> information here. <coughs> SM, <coughs> smash SM, and this is 1 minus degree minus 1M, and SM, smash SM, and this is just S2 of yeah, SM plus 1. This is some, this map is so called why that square omega. And this one is actually why the square in spheres. It's a home to be home to be class. Why the square is just given by this commutative. Okay, so you put it here. Now let's write them this way. So I this is two, degree two, just two, okay? Just put degree two, right? So again, this is S2. So my formula tells what? So two times omega m plus one equal to one minus minus one to the m uh, omega m plus one. What? Right? I think I did not get missing. Okay. So now, well, one case you did not say anything. It's like one equal to one. Another case you say something. So if m it's even. Okay. And it's even. You will get this guy is one. Right? This guy is actually appears to be one. So it tells that two times omega m plus one. In other words, this is odd number. So this is two k. So two k plus one. See? This is a classical theorem. You can get it quickly. Okay. So classical theorem says the odd dimensional sphere, the widest square is ordered two. Yes, it is. Yeah. It? it is exactly come true. And now you can play. Let's see. This is a law I use only two, right? You can look at what happens for. 
three. Okay, so move one more step. Let's look at the case three. Right? But uh, now I look at this myself smash I three four. So this is one minus tau means what? One minus tau sometimes we de we denote as beta two. So imagine this guy will be something x. Okay. Y1 slash Y2 well, goes to something like Y1, Y2 minus Y2, Y1. Exactly like you take the commutator in that way, right? Okay, so now threefold we can make a similar map. Let's call beta 3. And uh, this will be like, uh, I want to make say, something like, uh, I will go to some map will be given by something like this. Threefold, I will take that. Okay, so this, uh, this is just a meaning, uh, let's say, way of to, how to explain what that means. Right? So this means what? Let's say if I write on A, B, C. This one means that I need to take A, B, uh, C minus B, A, C minus C, A, B plus C, B, A. Right? Okay? So that's the, my threefold committee that will be written this way. So the meaning of this one, I just means that first of all, I aim to A, B, C, I go to, okay, this point I should be go to identity. Okay, so this part is actually looking as identity. Then minus, second part is B, A, C, so that means this map should be switch first two. So you, you get identity map switch like this tau smash with identity so switch first two position and then this this guy will be moving c to the beginning okay you switch another one okay so you minus uh, y3 y1 y2 okay so this is a, another permutation one and then plus <coughs> and y3 y2 y1 okay so that's like you can find this map okay, by, by taking four permutations to make it. Now the property of these elements you can define in a group as well. Just take three both commutator. Right? Now here's a similar law is that here's X size. Homework question? But X size in general. It's two. Okay. So take beta M equal to m times base n, but I, mean, I don't want to check general. You can just check 3 and compose with. <coughs> okay. so take 3 of them. Okay. Just a bit repeating this procedure. By one more time, I will multiply by 3. Okay, so now you translate this language to the same game as we look here. So what that means? You get x, smash with x, and I divide this map, so called beta 3, okay? And then, next beta 3, I, I don't want to use beta 3, I want to map it back to loop suspension x, because I, this map is through this k3, so I use this semi-suit three here. Okay, so that's my table. Just looking at this formula, uh, looking at this one, this will be permutations inside. Okay. Now this is degree three. Okay, I just go by degree three. And uh, x, x, x. Oh, is it? In that one, I want a to three. Okay, let's put this map. Okay. Now again I think you expect that you want me to test in what happens for spheres, right? Okay, so now I put the x equal to s. 
Okay. So you get S N S N S N. <coughs> it's not bad, right? Okay. So you go to the S N N S N. Okay. So this side is okay. You just multiply by three and. Uh, Okay, so now this is S3. Right? Now the question you need to compute what is beta 3, right? Beta 3, because we know this tau already switch position, so let's use beta 3. Uh, beta 3 is, uh, yeah, let's say this is 1, 2, and uh, 3 can be written as. 1, 2, 3, minus 3, 1, 2, right? Okay, so I write on this beta 3 can be equal to beta 2 smash with identity minus identity smash with beta 2, right? Okay, so just to write this formula. And we know beta 2, so we, we computed already, beta 2 is this guy, right? That's the degree you, you computed. Okay. So this means that this is the degree one minus n, and the second factor is identity. So this, uh, it's okay. No, no, no degree that comes out minus this guy. It's identity. First factor is identity. Second factor you create a degree. 1 minus minus 1 to n. Oh, so in any case it's uh, 0. Okay, so that's a whole point. 0. So n is 0. Right? Okay. So just, yeah, this degree will be, has to be 0. So what that means? times S3. This is a, a certain one, literally right word. From Sn smash Sm smash Sn goes to loop Sn plus 1. This will be trivial. Right? It's not home to be because this guy is trivial. It's trivial. So, but 3 times Somehow you have needed this three times, right? So we can make our space sometimes called localization why it is used. So I say when we so call localized two, that means make three invertible. Any prime different of two, just make it invertible. So you make this machine invertible and look like a two or implies that. S3 is trivial. Right? Okay, so now, now you see what's going on. We have this K3 on three letters. S3 is trivial. S3, S3 is trivial. Yes, yeah, three on oh, is trivial. Okay, so now you have three letters, say x1, x2, x3, and goes to, this is a x, this times x, sm, I three times over there, loop suspension, loop s, right? And it says that when you get x3 for the committee, they will be trivial. When you Look like a two. What? Let's put one because this is a non-bit. 
Ah, this is actually very important because uh, this is three words move to end. So in general, you get k m x one x n go k maybe q. Okay. So s m times q times. What happens? Because I'm taking i, j, k, three letters. Three of them I go back to that case. And the three-fold commutator is always trivial. So that tells all three commutators is trivial. Okay. So x, i, x, j, x, k, goes always one. Right? This will be much simpler now. So it's actually this group for this particular space this will be so-called, you can factor through okay, this map, factor through the k, q, x1, x, q, quotient by gamma 3. It's gamma 3 of g. Same thing, you can work out for H group of sphere. So it's actually important to lens two. So we only have a one. So you got. General, you got HM, but this is the general one. This go to the uh, Q, right? JQ, SM, go to loop suspension. Yeah, this is loop SM. It will affect this loop, like let's call KQ uh, SM. Group will be uh, not bad. This is tells that each Q actually has M project down to H2. We are isomorphs. Because they, are, they, they, they will you just go detect by two letters. And then you go down to here, H1 is. Z. When you uh, take kernel here, this will be Z. And the commutator is given by X1, X2. Right? Okay. And also, you will find when M, M plus 1 is off, this guy actually can be even only order 2. Right? There's only one cache. But when M is even, this one has to be Z. Okay? So how will this formula help? Actually, this will help the following situation. Let me just see. Okay, so now I can give the remark by like this one. This will tell us the following. Give you the following formula. Root of degree 2 map. Okay. So homotopy equivalent to 2 times, okay, 2 times, let's say, second map. Second map is like this. You start with J, because any Q is better J. And I take second half invariance and smash as X. And then followed by the white plus one. Okay. 
So, yeah, so given by conversation, omega loop of omega m plus 1 composed with x2. Okay. So, let's see. <coughs> Let me say a little bit why, right? Why? Why this will be true? So you need to use use a cone group to understand this map means. So you come back to a cone group to compute it. Right? And it seems uh, this actually is isomorphism. So I just test it for two. It's a high case, just slightly more complicated, but then you can just translate in a correct language. So the way you need to utilize what is a loop of two, okay? What is loop of two? And this is okay because I have cell map, I have a power map of degree two map. And uh, now, what is a loop of two? So loop of two, means I have a, first of all, I get loop of S M plus one. This is a loop of space. I have a loop of degree two map. This is degree two map. Okay, that's, that's a loop of S, yes, loop of two. Okay. Now, in cone group, okay, This guy is represented by okay, x1 square, x2 square, x cube square. Like this pattern. <laughs> okay, so just like uh, like by this this element. Okay, so just pick. And then why this one? You can see the Okay, I think this is a exile. Let me do okay. So this and this can be you just you just write down these elements in a correct way. And the key point is that this is a this loop of two is like a group homomorphism. Send each pi i. Okay, loop of two is it's a self map, right? The group homomorphism. Send each x i goes to x i square. So when you take homomorphism, you have to xi square, x2 square, and keep, keep going this pattern. Okay. And now, what is the power map of 2? Okay. Uh, what is q here? Well, oh, q is arbitrary in kq, in kq. Because I use m for here. So I, I now, uh, the the power map two is represented by x one, x two, x q. This is a this will be the inclusion and square. Okay, exactly like in this. Okay. So this is like a, you you have to go diagonal in there. So exactly the box and multiple together. So this is exactly the square. Okay, now, now let's see what's these relations, right? Relations. So you, it says that this relation will be different by that. In high case, both elements inside here, so for Q greater than two, actually, in for sphere case, we can single to match it. But uh, let's see, only look at the Q uh, in this stage, right? We'll just look at this. What's different? Yes. The, Wait, x1, okay, I use my commutator, a, b, equal to a inverse, b inverse, a, b, right? So that means that a, b, equal to b, a times a, b, right? Okay, just uh, same identity, play. Okay, so now I try to understand 
x1, x2, x1, x2. I want to write backwards in terms of this guy, right? Write backwards. So let's see. This is equal to, I switch it, x1, <coughs> square, ab, ab will be ba, so x1, x2, and the commutator x2, x1, right? Okay, then it has another one, x2, another sum. Okay, so now, now I want to commute it again. I move this one here. Oops. Okay. Uh, yes, it's really enough, right? Square zero. Okay, now I move this guy again. So this will be equal to x1 square, x2 square, and uh, keep the a 1 a b b a. I will need to write a b a, but there's a tail a b. So x2, x1, and x2. Now, what is a good thing? See here, this guy is always one. The whole group here, you have generated with a p. You just have to raise it. So that's why we use this formula to compute. Okay. So in the end, the end, this is the inverse. So I move to that side. So x1 square, x2 square equal to x1, x2 square. And right? OK, so now you translate this language into as maps, as maps. Now in the level 2, and the, this is the map of 1, 2. Okay. So map one two means what? In the space of J two X go down to uh, two fold and S two. It's computed, see. Okay, so that's map. Now what is in general? This is in K, Q, S, M. That's much simpler. So you can work out uh, x1 square, x2 square, xq square equal to x1, xq square. This guy is lifting to there. And this side is actually only one element in the product. xi, xj, i less than j, q1. Okay. Exactly like this, uh, this element. You can just work out this formula. And now you understand this map. Okay? This, this element as a map. As a map, you have to make a choice. This will be, you start with JQ, SM, IJ. That's exactly James Hoff map. Okay? So J. And now you you realize that this is the next way to bracket. So you see that actually these two maps are different. They are not, not the same. And they are different exactly by Hogan variance and the variance. You can exactly see what the gap between these two maps. Right? <coughs> Excuse me, what is K, U, or S, L? Oh, we said we just cushion that by gamma 3. Just uh, threw away three from the commutator. Was fierce. Yes, you do not worry about threefold complete. 
So in general situation, it is still a question of actually the relation between these two will be complicated with the big tail. Big tail. Okay, so now we move to continuation for the uh, back to some theory, right? Make some example now. Back to theory. <coughs> okay, so now what I want to say uh, this coin group for the Exponent problem. Okay. How we will use actually this is a you know, intention for that coin try to produce this uh, combinatorial method to attacking some the so called better trajectory. Okay. That's called exponent problem. And of course, uh, yeah, you will see some technical difficulty, and actually in the next lecture, I will see we will see actually there are some growth actually goes very nicely. This group, not solve the conjecture. Conjecture is very difficult. Now let's just try to see. We can try to attack, right? Okay, so let me see what's the background for the uh, for these uh, questions, right? Okay, so what's the exponent? I, st I, I start, uh, start to look at the maps first. So suppose that I given a map, okay, double suspension x to y, okay, you just give me a continuous map from a space, double suspension x to another space, y. Now, since this guy is a group, right? This is a daily group, right? So that order, so p to the r times this guy is zero in this group. Okay. So assume like you give me, I get some torsion elements as a map. Okay. So this map, you can give a map. Uh, uh, which is infinite uh, order where you don't care. Let's, let's say you start with something which is, has some, possibly it's like, it's like uh, some order. It's group, right? And uh, now, you will be a, you then you may ask the following question. Okay, so, because this is a map, right? And we see that any continuous map will produce a group homomorphism on homotopy groups. Okay, so you will get f star from high star x two. Right. Okay. So it induces that one. I think the first expectation you, you may think about this is uh, always. So now let's look at the image, right? Here's a question. You possibly you may ask whether P to the R cute or this image. Where do you see it? You will see. It, it, it seems. Uh, <laughs> no, no, okay, why? <laughs> if you change your homotopy group by homology, it is correct. Okay. Okay. Let's say yes for PGR image. Each star. More. Why is this correct? 
why homology? Okay, so you uh, let's understand uh, what is means p to the r. It's order, it's trivial. Okay. P to the r means you have uh, used this uh, multiplication. So this uh, p to the r times f okay, is zero means the following. Means I, I must be starting with a map which is given by this, right? So I, this is my initial domain. Okay, start with this one. Then I take P to the R fold co multiplication. Oh, you can put a degree map, what, what you see. I put a P to the, okay, let me write down a co multiplication. Okay. So P to the R fold uh, co multiplication, just folding sheets and uh, each sheet you fill in by F again, the same map, right? So fill in by F. And then you go to some map Y, P to R, then fold, folding together. That's it. This is the map. Okay. okay, so when you apply homology, take homology, or send this element to A, 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 the P to R types, right? Then under the same map, you create F A F A F A. Then folding together, you add together. So exactly, P to the R times that, that one. And this is the trivial map. This is zero. Means this is trivial, so A will be zero. Okay. So for more, it's okay. Now, so this will become the question. to Then you may ask, okay, so this should be true for homotopy as well. Now, the answer is no. Stable yes, stable homotopy group is a homology theory. Sure. Mm -hmm. okay. This is true for any homology theory. Right? Okay, so you just write. Okay, so now, okay, so. So the the answer, right? Uh, uh, P to the R <coughs> times image of F star pi star suspend square x goes to pi star y is not zero in general. Okay, the answer for homotopy group, it is not zero. And uh, is it in the simplest example? No, I mean no simplest example. Say for example, let, let me take a familiar example, let's take RP2. Right? Okay. So this is a projective plane. And uh, you take, uh, how many? You need to take four-fold suspension. And then you take a pi 10. And this will be exactly the right? This is the same eight. And, uh, but the identity map, F is equal to identity. Equal to identity, this space, okay. And this is the four-fold suspension uh, of RT. Two to itself, this is E of order four, right? Okay, so you go up by, by one. So if multiple by four, it's not zero. Okay, so the, 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 this is the question. Okay. Exactly. Now, uh, what, what's the trouble? That's before I, I move to the exponent problem. So we, let's try to understand the background. Why the homotopy group doesn't work? This is like this question, multiple by P to the R. Why is it not there? Right? Okay, let's try to see what are these troubles here. Right? So suppose that this means what? Uh, I have, uh, I can rewrite this map, right? This is a trivial map. Trivial map means what? Means I have a take P to the R X. Uh, maybe I, I still like this one. Okay. So now let's, let, let me do this one. Okay. 
So suppose that there's some homotopy class in say pi of uh, n, n is okay, right? Pi m x. Okay. So this means that you just get some map from n dimensional sphere and there's some mapping to here. X, right? And uh, what do you know that this kind of composition or this composition is trivial, I should write here, right? This is trivial. Okay. This doesn't you know this composition is trivial. So you take this P to the R and and then you fill in like uh, this P to the R Y and body that Y this is trivial. So you know this guy is true. This is the what you know. But uh, but uh, how can you see you need F star <coughs> lambda t to the r is zero? What does it mean? That means that you have to start from this guy because F star means this is just. Uh, F composed with lambda, right? Mapping like composition. So you have to start this one, not to start from here. So you take P to the R, co multiplication P to the R, and you take sphere, and now you take the followed by the each, each guy in the middle, you have to uh, take the map uh, F composed with lambda, right? So yeah, I think maybe I just let me separate some. So I take lambda first. Uh, as M, I take a lambda first. And then composition to F. Then go F. Okay. Uh, lambda will go to X. And then go to P to the R, Y. Then folding back to Y. Come back. This one. Right. So you see that this actually, the map go this way, it's different from that way. Unless you, this lambda has a good property, say for example, in a, up to this stage, they have a commute, right? Un unless like you make a commutative diagram up to here, they are the same path. Then you fill in, because of the tail, they are the same. So you can feel it in there. Now, by requiring this condition, it is exactly so-called like coage maps. So lambda will be comparable because this co multiplication is comparable with this map. Right? So for coage maps, it is okay, no problem. But uh, in general mapping, this may not commute. This may not commute. Okay, so that's exactly the uh, the troublesome for 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 the for this problem here. Okay, so now I try to get ready to state the, what the conjecture now. Okay, now I just try to say what is the conjecture is. Okay. Times 
at equal to zero in the group here. This group. Okay. Then conjecture says that P to the R plus one times image of a star. I star equal to zero. Okay. It will be like uh, you actually the, the uh, sensitive thing is that you you P to the R may not be zero, but if you just go one more step, it will be time. Okay. okay, so now let me see there's a, what it means for choose uh, conjecture for this uh, for space. So choose, uh, choose to be identity. Right? Okay, so you choose the identity. Map. This is identity. is of order p to the r okay okay so then according to the conjecture p to the r plus one times pi star suspension square x must be four zero four zero i choose identity and uh, they do have a lot of space uh, identity map type order P to R. That's a uh, general space smash with more space, a more torsion space. You make it. So a lot of torsion space, uh, finite complex, which is given by torsion space. And they do have uh, this uh, suspension order. And now, you want why this, this one? Because this is just uh, in terms of the uh, map. Now you just put the identity, so if it works for this one, that will will work for identity. Now, let me see here. So, valid conjecture, originally what it says is, uh, uh, I, I make some variations on, on, on the valid conjecture. Right? So, original valid conjecture is uh, one of these. So first of all, uh, this is identity. So, F is identity. So, order P to the R. And then he claims that if you take a double loop space, the p to the r plus one map will be trivial. Of course, the power map will induce is uh, multiple by p to the r one. So this is the uh, original, the real version of the uh, Barrett conjecture. You try to make a space and uh, now this is this conjecture either you read this one or you might just make a variation form whatever but this conjecture is one of the biggest conjecture in home theory. theory it's a long-standing philosophical conjecture and there have been a very important uh, progress in the late 70s and early 80s that proved that this is true for two cell complex given by more space. <laughs> more, two more, uh, more to P to R more space, except uh, P to R more two more space. Okay. So, and as a consequence, they handle all exponent for, for spheres. Okay. And uh, that's the information you know for two cell complex, like given by cyclic one, right? See, P to R more space is okay. And uh, for general space, since uh, for for many years, not much program. So it's still the no context example. So it's, that's it. And our program try to, I say, I try to use the uh, cone program. To I don't want to say solve it, actually, it's the open question, right? So we try to see this cone uh, group, how to understand this conjecture. We actually, yeah, next time I will say, 
We cannot solve this one, but we will see the steps. This exponent go very slowly, this hours, and just use this program there. Of course, then there will be deep information too, right? Okay, so now uh, I hope this, uh, this, okay, okay, so now back for using uh, this cone group, right? For, let me say, understanding this uh, ballot conjecture. So I use this uh, information. I use the information of this hypothesis in that conjecture. Okay. So my game still. So I given. So now I given. Okay. So given whatever any f. Why? Okay. With the hypothesis that mm, P to the R F equals zero in one. Okay. 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 So now what do you need to do? Well, first of all, let's uh, make loop. Okay. <laughs> loop. So it will make uh, go to the Loop. So, you need to understand this one. Okay. Actually, you need to understand this one. Okay. This will be, of course, it will be loop one. Loop loop yes. Thanks. Okay. Now, actually, like, the story is really want to understand an order of this loop map. Okay. When you loop, you have a multiplication in this side. Power map on this side is exactly the exponent point. So <coughs> the game you really need to understand. This guy. Or if a single loop is not enough, let's make twice. Okay. So better the conjecture whether you want to go actually twice. When you get twice, he said, well twice will be okay. You can solve the problem. That's the game. But you have to start with single. So go one step. Now, <coughs> now let's see what happened. This is a loop map, so it induces a group homomorphism. Right? Okay. And now we have some. There's a group Kn, x1, xn, which is mapping to here. Okay? So you then actually try to create something else. Go this side. Okay, so that you want to create some more information because now you actually touch with a torsion, something which is torsion. So you will create a torsion group now. So we want to construct a torsion group in a canonical way. So let's see. Go back to definition of this. Uh, So let's uh, look at this homomorphism. Now look at each generator. So each generator goes to what? Under this, right? You look at each generator goes to. So you look at if this is a group homomorphism, you just make group homomorphism, send each generator go to projection inclusion. That's all. So in this case, xi will go in the picture here, right? So it will be, I start with xn, okay? And then, then I'll go here, right? So I first will I take projection, ii, down. And then 
I include inside uh, loop suspension X, and then I followed by loop X. Uh, we are missing something. X is a double suspension uh, counting not correct. Right? Uh, yeah, it is loop not not this one because X is suspension. Suspension, suspension, so I missed it. Okay, so I start with this one. I go down by suspension x, now you get it twice, right? Okay, so now I go to loop one, right? Okay, so this is my generator goes to. And now you have to watch this map. This is what? You, this just put the omega in the other side. Drop one suspension. So this is the at joy map of F. Double suspension F. Why? Exactly in the drop. Okay, it's exactly right. Now the twice, you move to another omega, another side. And uh, what do we say as conditions? So this is uh, all the P to the R, right? So that means that X I P to the R will go to one in this group. Right? Okay. So each generator goes this one. Now, what, what do you do? Well, I started with this integral construction. I make require all generated p to the r equal to one. Okay, so it will give uh, mm -hmm. all of the picture. Okay, so it gives the following. Suspension x and support loop suspension square x. Okay, so this is omega f star. I have a mapping go here. And this is I want to go and this is the loop of y. So I can let's make a notation for this one. <coughs> so here. And this is by definition is okay. Make xi p to the r equal to one. Right? Okay? Just require each generator p to the r equal to what? Probably we better close the window. It's cool. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Sure. So, right? Okay. So this machine can go. And now you can, this is from Cartesian product. We do the same procedure by taking equalizers and moving back to there. So now you from this one and then you do the same. So I can KM. And now I take KM, uh, C, P to the R, X1, XM, and I go to map to here, KM minus 1, C, P to the R, and X1, XM. I go down to this suspension X to M minus 1, loop of Y, and I just map. Suspension x to the n, loop of y, and uh, then I take equalizer. <coughs> oh, this one, okay. So this one maps to j n, 
sigma x into y. Okay. Right? Okay, so you do the same procedure. And now you pay attention that there's a particular element there's important. What's the most important? Most important one we need to understand the loop f. So loop, this is will be a group, there's a lot of elements here. There's one particular element catching this loop f, restrict to this uh, Gm. What's that? This is exactly x1 times xm. It's exactly includes to j square x. This is the loop f. So this is the procedure. Okay, the procedure. So there's a one particular element, x1 times xm, is always in the equalizer, exactly detect this element. Okay, so that's the, now, uh, now similarly, of course, you can define the infinite, right, and infinite, you say. So before that, I think uh, uh, I just take example to see how it works. Mm -hmm. Next time we'll give a beauty answer. Now at the moment, I only want to look at the example so for the case, uh, I put the following example. Put M, M uh, equal to 2. Okay. Now I put P equal to 2. Right? I look at the P to the R equal to 2 to the R. Let's make uh, some computation, see whether it makes sense, right? Okay. So I look at the x1, x2, this is the element here, right? Okay, so we already produced, uh, what's the formula? We formula, we produced that this is square is equal to x1 square, x2 square, and x2, x1, right? That's we 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 we, we computing. Okay? Now let's see what happens for next. So if you let me I take an easier one. We want to okay, I'll put the two. <laughs> two is it's okay, right? You can test it for four, it's also for five. Mm -hmm. So now if I take now this way p to the i equal to two. So x1 square is already one. Right? Okay. So x2 square equal to 1. Right? So now I get only have x1, x2 square will be equal to just this commutator. Okay. Now x1, x2 to the 4 will be x2 x1 square. Now, in cohen group, it was has an exercise, can see, I think you can put square inside. <laughs> okay, it will be moved to, and we will check this one, okay? x1 square will be same. If you want, let's test it in the inside of this group, okay? So then put the question. Okay, so let's uh, make a computation. So, what can we so what we got? X two, X one. It is true in the original coin group, yes. In original coin group, this uh, because this without uh, this uh, is it B? Uh, uh, this is yeah. Th 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 uh, even here it's true. Yes. Th this power can sit inside. Uh -huh. So the law we can write and this one equal to what? X two. <laughs> this is by weight four identity. Let me try uh, uh, write an exact formula for we call identity. We call identity I copied, right? So it says the following. It says that x, z, y equals x, y, x, z, then conjugate by y. Okay? Yes. Yes, it's, it's not a whole bit uh, identity, it's different. No, no, it's, uh, it's true, but, but it's okay, but it's, 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 it's not whole identity. Yes. Okay, let's, uh, it's, it's correct, right? Yes. This will be what we 
っていうのはいろいろ分かってもできないと思う。まあ So now I put a x2, x1, x1. So this will be x2, x1. This is x2, x1. And、uh, contributed by y, okay, so、uh, by x1. But if I take x1,、uh, x1 inverse,、uh, x2, x1, x1, this way you can put x2. X1, then fill in X2, X1 inverse. And this guy is a three fold commutator with involving two gen、uh, one generator repeat. Two. So, so this is the same backwards to here, so it's a square.、Okay? So, in general, you can see. So, that means what? This will be one. So, the conjecture actually is correct up to quadratic range. Length two, it works. The conjecture is,、uh, works like、uh, out to length two.、Eight. This is exactly the original theorem, v a l e t theorem. In 1950s, he says that p to the r plus one, actually, if you look at the two to the r plus one, works up to、uh, like, uh, this quadratic range. And then he made conjecture with two all the way up. right? So, and possibly next time I will see you use some. Algebraic method, we can see this grows very, very slowly. Then, then go further. Use some technical. Okay. So maybe today, maybe just stop here.、Right? Yeah. <laughs> some questions, remarks. For p to r equal to, that's actually interesting. There's no, no finite complex which identity can be order of two, suspension of order of two. Okay, this is,、uh, cannot be. But for maps, you can. Maps, there's a lot of maps which is order of two. So you, as long as you're too t a l k i n g you always can. Map, maps is fine. And this computation for two is okay. For, for two to r, it's also fine. It's not complicated. Just the same exercise you play and you will p l u t 